Young violent suspects nearly escaped prosecution in a recent shooting case, except for an unusual twist. All new at 10, Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes found out police continued pushing the evidence to the other side of one particular bridge. Blanchett Bridge behind me. Three teens reportedly stealing cars that led to a shooting caught on the other side of the bridge where they were not going to be prosecuted. So police came here to get action. It was this unforgettable January 9th incident. Three St. Louis County teenagers in this reported stolen car involved in the shooting of an innocent St. Charles Cracker Barrel worker. Doing nothing more than, than yelling at some kids that, were, that he thought was breaking into his car. St. Charles captain over investigative services Ray Floyd says protocol with minor suspects accused of crimes in multiple counties take them to where they're from. It's for the convenience of the parents and other people involved. Uh, so we were basically following the protocol that had been established at that point to take them to St. Louis County and continue our investigation. Except he said St. Louis County juvenile courts refused charges. If the case isn't there, it's not there. But with this case, we felt we had enough information to move forward. Fox 2 first exposed the concern in October when we had exclusive access to a meeting in which North County Police Departments confronted the juvenile courts. Two or three hours later, he's in Berkeley caught in another stolen car. And my thing was, what the hell are you doing in Berkeley? He should be in Juba now. And it's not Prosecutor Wesley Bell's fault because he raised the alarm in an exclusive interview about it, too. These car theft rings are recruiting young people because they know the young people will not be arrested oftentimes or will be out quickly. Back in St. Charles with the Cracker Barrel shooting case, police did not take no for an answer and took the case to the St. Charles County Juvenile Courts. We felt that we did have uh, enough evidence to move forward with criminal charges and they agreed with us and filed uh, charges based on that case. Was that surprising? It wasn't surprising to me at all. We've had a great working relationship with our juvenile office. Dawn Cotton is ecstatic. It was her car stolen to commit violent crimes. I want to prosecute them too because I'm actually set to go get a DNA swab done to see if they can eliminate my DNA from their DNA in the car. Because of St. Charles County Juvenile Court's three teens ages 14, 15, and 16 are now locked up on charges for stealing cars, armed robbery, and assault. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.